That definitely clipped. Hey everybody, Jem Schofield of the C47 and another episode of Gearbox 2.0. In this episode, we're gonna go from this to this. So let's get started. All right, boys and girls, I am here with one of my closest friends in the entire world, questioned every day of my life since the age of 14. This is, this is? Doug Rappaport. So, um, so we are here in this about a, I'm gonna say about 10 by 12 space. And uh, this is where you, you make music, mm -hmm. you write music. Mm -hmm. Um, and you do demos. And I do video demos. And uh, Doug has a YouTube channel. He's got a decent number of subscribers. He's building that up. There's uh, other people who do similar things to you. And why the hell am I here? Well, uh, I've been sort of stumbling through the video game. I'm totally uneducated in the field. And I've been talking to you for a while about giving me some pointers and maybe helping me take the video game to another level. And, um, well, as you will see, it's better. It's better. Yeah. Um, the goal here was to do this, basically do it yourself. So a DIY, uh, keep the stuff that you had much to my chagrin. Is that the right word? To chagrin, chagrin, dismay, chagrin, dismay, um, horror, horror, uh, other ones. One more word. Okay, well, let's just take a look at uh, Doug's equipment in terms of what he's been using. So he's got a couple of uh, decent quality DSLR cameras. So he's got two Canon T6i. So you can shoot, shoot at 24 frames per second. And you have a, a pretty good uh, A camera lens. You got a 24 to 105 on there. So that's your main uh, you know, wide shot. You've got uh, a couple of 18 to 55s. You're using uh, those for close-ups, uh, neck of the guitar and stuff. Right. Uh, so usually two camera. Uh, lighting wise, a couple of, um, uh, I think maybe when they were driving through McMinnville on the way to Eugene, they fell off the back of a truck or something, but you've got them. Daylight balance, right? Yes. You love them. I love them. Uh, the adjustments on all these, especially the two tripods that he has, are amazing. This is probably top level. And then you have a, a Cowboy Studio-ish version of a compact fluorescent thing where you can put five or six compact fluorescents in together. Again, also daylight balanced, right? Correct. That's it. So we're keeping those. He's so full of it. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to basically create a little bit of depth. What was your setup before in here? Like that video that we're looking at right now, kind of what was your standard setup in here? Uh, the desk was on, a, on the wall, on this other wall right here. And what I do is if I was doing like say an amplifier demo, I'd put the amplifier against the wall and then I would sort of position myself right next to it against the wall and do whatever and uh, set the cameras up and just spend hours messing with lights, trying to find something that worked and just get something on video. That's how it was. And most of your lights came from over there. Yes. And so um, I think probably the, the biggest change that we made right off the bat is we started to uh, swing your key light over to the side. Yeah. We want to create a little contrast, a little, a little bit, not totally. So I think what we'll do is um, we'll, we'll cut, I'm gonna grab this camera over here and I'm gonna take people around, you and I are gonna talk about and show everybody the little bits and bobs that we have. Is that cool? Great. All right, let's do it, okay. Um, we're not starting from zero here. We're gonna to start to show you some of the things that we have set up here. So there's Diego Malaveres, and uh, also known as Doug Rappaport. Um, by the way, this guy plays with uh, Edgar Winter Group, tours around uh, internationally, session player, all that good stuff. So I put my desk here. And I'll probably do the video standing right about here. You'll see some cool angles. And uh, basically what we did was we got some of these really cool lights. These hurricane lamps with these LEDs. And I uh, got my uh, ox and the camper and the Axe FX lit up on there. We got some of these, you know, like $6 thing here. We got it like by Mart or something. And just to add some vibe. And then we got some of these cans. I'm gonna light up the products that I'm demoing, like amps. We have a Pro Tools session that's dimmed all the way down, yeah. so it's not too bright in the background. And then um, that's pretty much what we're doing. And then in terms of lighting wise, uh, Doug, I'm just gonna have you stand in your, your normal spot there. 
We've got an A camera that's sort of here. Uh, it's a little bit wider than I have it right now. Doug with the guitar, and then you'll see that there's a light over here. That's this LED. It's on full, and basically um, we just got some fabric. We that's were using. We also got that at uh, Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> hanging out with the Walmartians. And uh, and I mean that in the kindest way. And so this is just basically some stretchy kind of uh, fabric that we put some C47s on. And then, um, and then we've got this other light right here that we don't have any um, stuff on. And that's basically just hitting the, actually Doug, uh, pick up the guitar again. And that's basically hitting, he's getting some light from the key over here. And he's also getting some light from here that's just kind of getting in on a, a, a closer up shot that's the B camera. And just so you can see where Doug's cameras are, that's A right there with a 24 to 105 at its widest, 24. B camera right there at an 85. It's actually um, tilted down a little bit more. You can see how really adjustable these tripods are. They're phenomenal, uh, especially the Amazon Basics one. And then over here, <laughs> shut up. And then over here, um, just because Doug really was looking at the overall image and you felt, you felt like it was a little too dark. Yeah. Like it had some contrast, but you wanted to lift the room a little bit. Yeah. So basically what we did is, um, we did that. All right, boys and girls. So there you go. Another episode of Gearbox 2.0. Thank you, Douglas. Thank you, Jim. Thank you for coming out. C47 rules. Douglas Rappaport. <laughs> Doug E. Raps. Diego Malaveres, uh, check out his YouTube channel, not only for new content, but some of the old stuff. Uh, really a monster player, great. Been Thank playing you. since he's been about 11 years. When I met Doug at the age of 14, uh, it seemed like he had already been playing guitar forever. So, uh, and now we are old men and, and here we are. <laughs> you're making videos for people in your industry. I'm making for people uh, videos for people in my industry. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we've upped uh, a little bit the game in terms of your look and feel for these videos. It's it surpassed anything that I was hoping for. I'm so excited. It looks amazing. And uh, yeah, so thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, you're quite welcome. And then please, um, you know, let it evolve over time. And uh, and let's do a 2.0 of this in the future. Yeah. Save some more ducats. Get some more of these videos from the manufacturers. Okay. And put a little, put 10% aside every single time. Yeah. And then we'll do a shopping spree and we'll like up it to the next level. I'm thinking of starting a Patreon account that you can donate to so I can make a million dollars so I can get a good tripod. Me too. That's how much they cost. Yeah. So, or you can please. just Or you can just stick with the Amazon basics. And I'll see you guys next time on Gearbox. Cut.